is that you can only produce a small amount of filament from one bottle. And if a 3D model requests more filament to print that you got from a single bottle, the only solution is to pause the print, change the filament, and then resume it. However, this process is time consuming and tiring. And if you put something to print overnight, the print is definitely gonna fail. The second and most feasible option is to produce filament from multiple bottles and then weld them together. On that note, I have designed a tool by which you can weld your PET filament together and it is very easy to use. And if you want to download this tool, all you need to do is to go in the link which is given in the description and I have updated my PET machine file with this filament welder. So you can easily download the whole set and design your own PET machine. So link in the description, check it out. And to use this tool, all you need to do is to cut the PTFE tube and put it from the both sides, the holes that are given in the video. And as I'm showing in the video, follow the process as I'm showing it here. And the PTFE tube should be longer on the one side than the other side, just like I'm showing in the video. So follow this step as you are seeing on your screen. And then take this PTFE holder and screw it on your PET machine. And to weld your PET filament, insert the filament from the both sides and use the light there to slightly burn the filament. And then quickly push it into the PTFE tube of the longer side. And if the results are not satisfactory, you thought it is more like thick than the average time heater, then repeat the process two, three, or as many times you want to. Just make sure you just heat the filament a little bit, not burn it, or you can say melt it, okay? Otherwise, it will break. After welding the filament, you can also use a sanding paper to rub the welded area so that it can become more smoother, more thinner according to the diameter of your filament. And just to show you, I'm using the PTFE tube to show you after the sanding, you can see the, the filament can easily pass through the PTFE tube. So now it's done. Now you have successfully welded your PT filament together. Uh, this link is kind of unbreakable, so to say. Now load the filament into the extruder and start printing. And that's all. Happy printing. Goodbye.